We are under the lights this evening as we and get now. you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Houston Astros and the Arizona Diamondbacks. George Springer the next to hit, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Now the one and one pitch. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Temperature was in the 70s earlier today, but 59 at game time tonight. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will land untouched. The one two. Nope. Ball. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Marte fields it cleanly. And there's one gone to begin the evening. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in Jose Altuve. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. That is third. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. All even now, two and two. Now a curveball misses inside. Full count. Yuli Guriel would be next. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Batting four. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. The 3-1. High in the air out to center field. And Marte will make the grab, and that ends the inning. Digging in now, Cattel Marte. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Granky ready now, the 1-1. One, one. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Grinky has pitched his way to a little more than 200 career wins. Really quite an impressive. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. Meanwhile now, this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Bottom second, the right field. Cole Calhoun. At the plate now, Cole Calhoun. Hard hit ball to second. There is Altuve. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Starling Marte. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Hard on the ground towards short. And there's a base hit as the Diamondbacks are going to get on the board first. It's one to nothing. That is four. The first base hit. Stepping in now, Christian Walker. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Ranky over to first. Runner back safely. Marte, base runner at first with one out. Two. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Full count. 
three and two. I don't even think I need to look in the dugout on this one. I think it's safe to assume he's going to be running. Too good a hitter at the plate not to think. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. So here's Eduardo Escobar, and he is off to a dreadful start at the plate as he has not hit the ball well at all in the month of April. The 2-1 home. In the dirt here. No advance here, but it's 3-1 and one now. Two out with the man at first. Bounce towards the mound. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Leading off the inning, Carlos Correa. And they'll need him to get something going here. And he misses two and one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here now the 2 2. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and the leadoff man set down to start the second. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Two one. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. A hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. And that's going to be a base hit for Reddick. That is that. The pitcher, number 21. That Grinke. So now to the plate, Zach Grinke. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Into the box, Kyle Tucker. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right. That one's out of here. Back to back home runs. At the plate, Martin Maldonado. And it's fouled away. Three runs already home here. And another foul ball. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. So it's back to the top of the order now. And former World Series MVP George Springer bats next. And there's a line drive, base hit to left field. On his way to second is Springer. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Into the box now, Jose Altuve. This is line to left. Varsho is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Diamondbacks, Madison Bumgarner. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And the pitch on two and one. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. 
Got Up it. next for Arizona, Carson Kelly. He's ready for his first at bat of this Kelly. early season contest. In there, one and two now. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Batting eight. The left fielder. Jolter. Marco. The 1-1. One, one. No, two out, nobody oh. on. Three and one to the Diamondbacks left fielder. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think That's you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Granky over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. And next, the dangerous power threat, Alex Bregman. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Left fielder is on the move. He's not going to get to it, so the leadoff guy's aboard with a base hit. Now back, the first base. To the plate now, Yuli Gurriel. Two and one. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon, and this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. From the belt, the pitch. And he popped him up. Calhoun coming on, but he won't get there. It falls in. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The batter, Stepping in now, Carlos Correa. Drilled on the ground to short. Marte for one. On to first, and they get them both. So a man at third here with two gone. And that brings up the former gold glover Josh Reddick. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Big swing from Reddick as this ball is launched out to deep right field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Wow. Nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely owning him. This could be the latter. Standing in now, Zach Grinke. Down the first baseline. And this is going to get past him at first. That's a fair ball. He takes the turn and heads for second. Now back, left field, Kyle Tucker. At the plate now, Kyle Tucker. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. We're starting to see a lot more balls from him now, and that's a direct result of him getting hit around pretty good. He's trying to do something different, and it's resulting in him not tacking the strike zone anymore. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. 
for the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. That's in there. Base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base, as even with two away, they didn't now, uh, like their chances there. Martin Maldonado. So now to the plate, Martin Maldonado. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that is through into center field, a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's 6-1. to one. Taylor Clark is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. At the plate, George Springer. Fastball well outside. Swing and a miss, strike two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. This is line to left. Varsho is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. A runner at first with no outs here. Off-speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to 3-1. and one. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. Back up the middle. Scooped up. Altuve for one. To Guriel, and they get them both. So here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Christian Walker. Two outs here with a runner at third. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Next up for the Strohs, Jose Altuve. No hits to this point. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. Into the box now, Alex Bregman. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, the and there's one gone. The FB, Ready with Run the it. one and one. There goes Altuve. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Into the box, Carlos Correa. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Striding in for Houston, Josh Reddick. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. The count now at two and two. Runners at second and third with two gone. That one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch.
Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. Now at the plate, Zach Grinke, and a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up Eduardo Escobar. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And there's out number one. In now, Taylor Clark. Taylor Clark. The 1-1. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. And that's in there. Base hit. Now batter. The catcher. Carson. And now Carson Kelly. Swing and a miss on the changeup. And there are two gone. Standing in. Dalton Varsho. He drew a walk his first time up. Dalton Varsho. Lays off two and two now. Fouled off. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2. He's at the knees and called strike three. Riding in, Kyle Tucker. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. The 1-1. One, one. Right side. He's got it. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, the former Angel Martin Maldonado. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Here's George Springer. George Springer. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So coming to the plate, Nick Ahmed. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Around first, digging for two. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The batter, number four. Second baseman, Patel. Stepping in now, Cattell Marte. And he leaves off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Line drive, base hit to right. Ahmed rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate. And the deficit is cut to four now. Now back, right At the plate now, Cole Calhoun. Hit hard down the line. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. And now he has some trouble with it in left. Oh. 
the center fielder, number two, Starling. So now to the plate, Starling Marte. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Tried to shoot the corner, and he missed it. Two and two. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. And that's in there. Base hit. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at the deficit. And the second runner will stop at third, and they're at the corners now with nobody out. At the plate, Christian Walker hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Digging in to try it again, Eduardo Escobar. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at-bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. The 1-2. No, Batman. Marte off for second. Just hung in there on that one. On the move again from first. He swings and misses. Throw down. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. David Peralta will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. Four runs, seven hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Popped up. Bregman is under it. And that ends the inning. Kevin Ginkle is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Ready for another chance? Jose Altuve. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. One one home. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Two balls, two this strikes. is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Turning for second is Altuve. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. Standing in now, Alex Bregman. In for strike two. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Here now the 2-2. Cue shot here out towards short. And one gone. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Yuli Gurriel. So far, two for three in this one. He's set. Here's the three and two. Line drive to center field. Marte is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Here's Carlos Correa now. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Carlos Correa. The 2 1. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And now it'll be the catcher, Carson Kelly. 
Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Dalton Varsho will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. To two and two now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Tucker comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. The one-two. Swing and a liner. Foul. The one-two misses for the second ball. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Springer is there. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Blake Taylor comes on now, and this move looks to be all about playing the matchup here. Yeah, and I don't think there's any doubt about that, Matt. They want the lefty-lefty matchup, and that's usually the right move, but we'll just have to see how this plays out. Now the one-and-one one pitch towards second, and this is taken for the out. Alex Young will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 49. Stepping up now, Josh Reddick. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The three and one pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will track it down. Hit on the ground to short. There is Ahmed. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Michael Brantley will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And he takes a called strike two. One out, nobody on. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. So a runner at first now with one away. And then to hit next will be the outfielder, Kyle Tucker. Here now the 2-2. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Now battle. The catcher, Martin. Maldonado. Into the box now. Martin Maldonado. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? And that's the second out. So the Houston lineup turns over and to the plate, George Springer. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Here's the 2 1. To short. Ahmed has it. On to first, and the Astros can't cash in as that ends the inning. 
Cy Sneed gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. He's two for three and looking for more here. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. First baseman, Richard Walker. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. Two and two. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Nobody out, runner on first. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The 2 2 one more time. He is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So a runner at first now with now one back. away. And that will bring up Eduardo Escobar. Escobar. Now the one and one pitch. Runners on the move for second. Strike taken to throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. The one two. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. And there's out number two. John Jay will come on a pinch hit here in a big spot. Number nine, John Jay. Ground ball right side. Oh, look at the sliding stop. Fantastic effort, but he's unable to turn it into an out, and that'll bring the tying run to the plate. The battle. Digging in, the Carson Kelly. Top it down. was a walk in his Kelly. last trip. Now the 2-1. Fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Yohan Lopez is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Ready to begin the eighth and set to go is the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D. Roll. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. to the plate now Alex Bregman and it's up to a 3-2 full count now hit high and deep out to left center field looking up is the left fielder still going back gone At the plate now, Yuli Gurriel. Down low, two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots, and now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Calhoun has a read on it. He's got it one away. Taylor Widener gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. 
Digging in once again, Carlos Correa. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will oh. stick with you a little longer. Ball taken there, two and one now. Pretty well struck, high and deep to left field. Left fielder looking up at the track, the wall, and it's gone as they add still another. In now, Josh Reddick. And that misses two and one. Two and one. Two and two the count. Still only one out in the inning. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside is a good attempt anyone to swing. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. A full count, three balls and two strikes. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. To second for one. Stepping in, Kyle Tucker. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. A 1-1. Skied into straightaway right. Calhoun on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Andre Scrub will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 29. Andre. Leading off the inning, Whoa. Dalton Varsho. And they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Here's the 2-1. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's 3-1. Three and one. Three and one. one thing's clear, he's not afraid to pitch inside, right? One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly this pitcher, he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. That gets down, he's got himself a base hit. And he will get in there with his first big league hit, a double. The batter number 13, just up, hit. Ahmed. Stepping in now, Nick Ahmed. Three balls and a strike to count to the Diamondback shortstop. Three balls, one strike. Hard hit ball to short. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Back to the top spot in the Arizona lineup now and stepping in, Patel Marte. Two for three with a double on his line so far. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. High in the air into shallow left center. Coming in is Tucker. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Cole Calhoun. He's working on a one for three thus far. The one one. Misses, ball two. Two and two, the count to Cole Calhoun. to first. Uriel picks it up and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. I'll 
set to start the ninth in this one and that'll bring in the veteran catcher Martin Maldonado. Maldonado behind the ball and two strikes. Donnie takes something off there as this is swung on and missed and there's one gone here in the ninth. So the lineup flips over and digging in George Springer. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. And that misses two and two. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. And he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Junior Guerra enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Now for the Into the box, Alex Bregman. Slap hard the opposite way. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Now batting, the first base. At the plate, Yuli Gurriel. And he fouls this one off. Runners are at first and second with one away. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. And looking to improve on a one-for-five effort so far. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. The one-two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Brian Abreu will come on to pitch here, and he'll move into the number five spot in the lineup now on the double switch. Miles Straw will also enter as a part of the double switch as he'll hit in the seven hole in the lineup. Batting seven, number three. The one-one home runs up and gets this one down. Throw to first will get him as they pounce on it quickly to snuff out the bunt attempt. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Christian Walker. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Here's a fly ball well hit. Back goes Springer still ranging back into the pool area and gone. Into the box now, Eduardo Escobar pulled toward right center field. Springer comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Stephen Vogt will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. He's hitting for the diamond ball. Number 21. He's there. Vogt. And it's fouled away. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Vogt has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. Oh, that one got the pitcher. Safe at first. A good effort to recover there, and he almost made the play, but that's a base hit. Up next to the diamond bag, the catcher, Carson. Standing in now, Carson Kelly. Three balls and a strike to Carson Kelly. Three balls and no strike. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. 
Pablo Rosado takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. And this is low, ball two, two and one. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. And he'll put this one away for the final out, and the Astros have run their winning streak to five in a row now as this ball game is over. Well, just an excellent job right here closing this one out. He just collected the first save of his career. Got to start somewhere. 10-6, to six, the final score in this game. The Astros took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Zach Grinke gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Madison Bumgarner struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.